In terms of the, the government's language, I, I know that you, you've said that it is a, a departure, maybe not believed. Uh, they've been accused of double speak by Josh Frydenberg. He was on this program yesterday saying the government's saying on the one hand Israel has a right to defend itself, but then calling for ceasefires and so on. Mm. Doesn't this doesn't this reflect though the complexity, the diabolical nature of what we're talking about here? This, uh, in some respects, centuries old divide in the Middle East. Well, of course, no one's suggesting that the Middle East is an easy fix. But what we have seen over the last 12 months in particular in this country is that vacuum of leadership, which has resulted in a rise and rise of anti-Semitism. If you compare the, the moral clarity and leadership between Anthony Albanese and Peter Dutton, Peter Dutton came out from the get-go, from day one, and said that Israel is a strong ally of Australia and we support Israel. We support Israel's right to defend itself. But not only do we support Israel's right to defend itself, we support Israel's right to, to respond to the attacks at that stage that were being brought upon them by Hamas, then Hezbollah, and now Iran. Um, no no um, effective leader would be able to look themselves in the mirror and not being able to respond to defend his or her people. And that's what Israel is doing. It is responding uh, to a threat uh, you know, more than 180 missiles were fired by Iran just last week. Yeah. Um, that sort of conduct can't be left unanswered because we know that the, the capabilities of Israel far outweigh those of, of uh, Hamas and Hezbollah, and that threat yeah. has to be responded to. Andrew Wallace, joining us from uh, Honolulu today. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Kieran.